This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Jailalita says the DMK is touchiness with the JPC probe only raises suspicions of a family involvement in the scam. Spectrum scam, the perfect poll plan for the politicians of Tamil Nadu as the sets for the polls 2011 are ready to It is up. a victory for political leaders in the opposition, including myself. LK Advani mounts pressure on the Prime Minister, says he should answer the Supreme Court and immediately set up a JPC. A French rapist in hiding in the city has been arrested. He was on the Interpol's most wanted list and given a red corner notice. The new age burglar has all the keys to the latest locks in your home. The police's advice? Think like a burglar. It's a grand Wednesday of colour, food and prayers. The fervour of Bakri fills the city's air. Festivals are all about the food as well. Think of any festival and a menu immediately jumps to your mind. Aragiri suits up for his son's big day as star-studded Madurai City plays host to the reception. And Bollywood looks towards Hollywood for ideas. The southern scripts head to Mumbai for their Hindi avatars. Welcome to the Late Night News on NDTV Hindu. First off, an Eid Mubarak to all our viewers who have tuned in. I'm Evelyn Matthew. Let's also take a look at what's making news nationally. Did Yadurappa help his family get the government land? The opposition releases new documents, but the BJP firmly defends him. Calls were reportedly coming from under the rubble of the Delhi building collapse till last evening. More wait to be evacuated. <laughs> Punjab High Court pulls up the CBI and the government on former Cobb Rathor in the Ruchika molestation case. The Environment Minister claims that the dead tiger in Sariska was poisoned and number one to be relocated from Rankambore. And Big Boss and Rakhi Ka in Saf are only for adults to be broadcast after 11pm, rules the IND Ministry. To our top story, it's been three and a half days since A. Raja played the hero of a resignation drama and a day after his reporters gave him a grand reception right here in the city. Now, the main opposition in the state, the AIA DMK, is capitalizing on every political gain it can get out of the mess that Spectrum Raja had got himself into. Today, the AIA DMK's General Secretary, Ms. J.J. Lalita, questioned the DMK, asking them that if the former telecom minister was innocent, why Karananidhi was afraid of a JPC probe into the scam? And that the DMK chief's opposition to the probe had only raised several suspicions about the very involvement of his family members into the whole Spectrum saga. On the sidelines of her latest statement, she's also claimed victory for A. Raja's resignation, saying that it was barely three days after her call for a public campaign that he had resigned from his plum post. So the Spectrum scandal which saw the fall of the telecom minister has set the political tone in Tamil Nadu for now. For the opposition groups in the state, it is their finest hour. So here's what the t telecom uh, scandal means for the DMK, the ruling party, and more so for its arch rival, the AIA DMK. These scenes of celebrations by the opposition AIA DMK and a sure face-saving defiance by the DMK has escalated into a war of bitter words. Jai Lalitha tried but failed to isolate Karunandi from the Congress. But her handling of the telecom scandal won her many political points. Other opposition groups are also taking maximum advantage. It is a victory for political leaders in the opposition, 
including myself. Karunanadi's attempts to use Raja's Dalit background to his advantage failed to excite supporters. But the mudslinging has helped the opposition for now. But will the momentum continue? That's something the opposition is expected to do? Not let the issue die down, as the election in Tamil Nadu is only six months away. In Chennai with Peer Mahal, Jason Tosh for NDTV Hindu. Meanwhile, a day after the Supreme Court questioned the Prime Minister's silence on the 2G scam and Minister A. Raja, which is being seen as an embarrassment to the government, the Solicitor General of India told NDTV that there was no cause for embarrassment at all. The Supreme Court had questioned the alleged silence of Dr. Singh while hearing a petition by Janta Party Chief Subramanian Swami, which said that the Prime Minister's office did not reply to a letter on charges against A. Raja for about 15 months' time. Well, we'll answer it in the court. We'll answer it in the court. The court has also said that whether the material has been put before uh, the uh, Prime Minister because Subramanian Swami... We'll answer it in the court. But, but don't you think it's an embarrassment for the government as well as to the no, Prime Minister? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think, uh, uh, I don't think that there's any cause for embarrassment. But the court's observations have given a new handle to the opposition, at least, with more and more voices demanding an explanation from Dr. Manmohan Singh, the latest being senior BJP leader L.K. Advani. Supreme Court me, usi vishay ko le karke ek gambhir tippani ki gayi Pradhan Mantri ke upar aur PMO ke upar mujhe sparar nahi aata ki pichle saath saal me kabhi Supreme Court ne Pradhan Mantri ke कार्यालय पर इस प्रकार की टिप्पणी कभी पहले की हो और मैं मानता हूं कि प्रधानमंत्री का कर्तव्य बनता है कि इस विषय में जो टिप्पणी सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने की है उसका तुरंत वे उत्तर दें in the other big story we are tracking today, after Will Hume, the latest foreign national with a string of child abuse and harassment cases slammed against him, is one with a French connection. A child rapist from France, convicted for raping nine girls back in 1998, has been arrested here in Chennai. 53-year-old Jack Fernandez, also known as Eric Martin, had gained entry into India through Nepal and was staying right here in the city. In fact, he had been on the run ever since he was convicted in France and was also on the Interpol's most wanted list. But as of now, Martin has been remanded to the Pural prison for 15 days' time. Meanwhile, the Interpol in Delhi has also been informed and they are expected to take action within the next three to four days. Chennai's division of the CBCID, meanwhile, is probing charges against his illegal entry into the nation. There are also uh, talking to Nepal and the Sri Lankan High Command, as the accused had held extended visas in both countries. Right now, we don't have any charge against him. Right now, our job, and see, it's an Interpol reference. It is a request from the Interpol. On their request, we have effected the arrest. And now he's in the Pulal jail. He will be taken to Delhi, there is a special court, and there also they are not going to try him. A French team comes, a team from France comes. After uh, completing the formalities, they are going to hand uh, this uh, fellow to uh, the French team. And Magdalene Jairatnam, a counsellor, spoke to us about the need for children to be sensitised, which is pretty much the biggest need of the hour. <laughs> All schools must have counsellors. I think right. that has become a priority these days because children, we have counsellors placed in uh, different schools and we find that children come up with host of issues, right. not just abuse, you know, any kind of issue. And I think that's very important. Do you think that's missing nowadays in the schools? That not you all schools have it, but I think it's very important because schools that do have counsellors definitely are a step further, you know. So I think uh, counsellors are very, very important. Right. And I think also as parents, I think it's important for us to look at this issue because most parents now, I think majority of the parents today are both working and they both finish office late school finishes by four o'clock in most cases right. most most of the time they say that they don't have time parents but you yourself are a parent yes have you tried talking to your uh, children have you I, made time for i them? think 
I, I have, uh, you know, I'm working from home now because I know the importance of, uh, you know, spending enough time at home and encouraging my daughter to talk. But I'm saying that this is a very important thing as part of parenting that all parents do encourage children to talk about right. anything that is bothering them or mm -hmm. worrying them. This is the late night news on NDTV Hindu still ahead on the bulletin. Name the biggest actor and politician in town and he was there. Big DMK wedding is ready for a grand takeoff.